Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's seven box quick hit football mixer. Some good boxes in this quick hit football mixer too, look at that. So a lot of great stuff. Everyone gets a random team in the NFL. All cards ship as well, that's pretty nice. Big thanks to everybody here. Whether you bought spots straight up or whether you joined a filler break to get into this break, we appreciate you getting in. Congrats, congrats again to the winners. All 32 teams are in, and let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Six and a one, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we got Dayton Rogers all the way down to Matthew Shearer. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Niners down to the Bills. Now there's a, a few different years in this, so trade at your own risk, but think about the different draft classes and whatnot. All right, so Dayton with the Niners, Brian with the Chargers, Zach with the Falcons, Matthew with the Rams, Robert with the Seahawks, Martin with the Buccaneers, Robert with the uh, Panthers, Jonathan with the Dolphins, Kevin with the Browns, Angel with the Jets, Kevin with the Texans, Robert with the Steelers, Cameron with the Colts, Jaden with the Vikings, John with the Patriots, Karen with the Saints, Mar Karen just missed her Saints, that's her team, Martin with the Titans, Brian with the Chiefs, Jake with the Cowboys, Dario with the Lions, Kyle with the... Giants, Chris with the Eagles, Simon with my Raiders, Corey with the Broncos, Robert with the Cardinals, Kenny with the Packers, Derek, Jaguars, Joshua, Ravens, Jason, Bears, Bengals, Gabriel, Washington football team, and Matthew Shearer with the Buffalo Bills. Let's sort this all by column B by team. And remember, these are the different years. We've got 2020, 2016. This is 2013. A little blast from the past. Looks like mostly 2020, actually. Yeah, so for trading purposes, it's all 2020 except for the 2013 box and that 2016 box. So I'm going to pause the video, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a deal done for, the, uh, for both Bay teams. So now Kenny is out of the Packers spot and into the Buccaneer spot. So he goes from Green Bay to Tampa Bay and Martin McSub is going from Tampa Bay up north to Green Bay. There you go. We'll put T next to those names, next to those team names so we know that they were part of a trade so we can track uh, who draws first blood, if any, in this trade. All right. Well, let's start. Let's start with a uh, tops chrome. A little blast from the past. Uh, there you go. Jaspie seven box quick. This final printout hot off the presses. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Is this the year we're going to see four quarterbacks drafted in a row, ladies and gentlemen? Never have. I think three has happened. I don't know when, but I think three quarterbacks in a row has happened before in the first three picks. But will four happen, ladies and gentlemen? That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. I guess Jacksonville would take a QB. Jets would take a QB. Niners would take a QB. Now the question is, will the Falcons take a QB? Or will they trade down? And will someone trade up to take a QB? I think consensus seems to be, unless the Jaguars screw it up, consensus seems to be the Jaguars will take Trevor Lawrence.
Maybe the Jets are slated to take Zach Wilson from BYU. Nick says yes. Hmm. According to Walter Football, Zach Wilson is a smart quarterback with good arm talent. However, there are some reported off the field and injury issues. What are the off the field issues? So this is a report from Jason LaConfora, great NFL writer, saying, in speaking to a director of college scouting from an NFC team that is in the market for a new quarterback, he outlined the makeup concerns with the Wilson. Johnny Manziel comp without the drugs. So what, he just likes to party a lot? <laughs> he's at BYU, you can't really party at BYU, could he? Yeah. You, you, you're, there's no dancing in Utah. He's fun to watch, but is he a one-year flash in the pen? Interesting. But I don't know. I mean, with every workout he did... Yeah, that would be not good for the hobby. Also, I don't know. D does New York take a chance with that? I mean, or do they take Justin Fields? Or Trey Lance. The Niners, according to Walter Football, has Justin Fields at three. Yeah. I don't know. And then, and then Walter Football has Trey Lance dropping to the Broncos. And then... And Mac Jones. I don't know where Mac Jones is on this list. Maybe second round? At least according to this guy. Bears, Mac Jones. Interesting. Yeah, could Washington trade up? Does New England take a quarterback? Wow, but, but why re-sign Cam for a year then? Oh, I see, I see. So he so fields marinates. Spiro says trailing to the Broncos would be hashtag boring for the hobby. Yes, All right, here's a remember this is 2013, so look at this. This is a Le'Veon Bell rookie card. Nice. Have Drew Locke marinate. Let's not give up on Drew Locke yet. There's a DeAndre Hopkins mini rookie card. So the bell goes to Robert, and this goes to Kevin and the Texans. Ed saying, from at West Coast CFB on Twitter, harsh quote from the NFC director, blah, blah, blah. Has character, Zach Wilson has character concerns. Rich kid who's entitled. Oh, his, his uncle owns JetBlue? I didn't realize that. Yeah, maybe. May I don't know. Some people, some people say, although Andrew Luck came from a privileged background, and although he retired a little early, but you know, he loved football. He grinded. Is that? Yeah, and I guess he didn't grind. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. Justin Hunter to 99. I like the sepia look right here. Justin Hunter goes to Martin and the Titans. It's Earl Thomas sepia to 99 for the Seahawks. Robert. There's uh, there's Thin Eddie Lacy, rookie refractor. Another DeAndre Hopkins rookie card. Nice. We're in a day and age now where or maybe back when we were ripping this open in 2013. You know, these rookie cards weren't as as valuable or as popular, but now they are. Texans, that'll be for Kevin. And there's Eddie Lacy for Martin and the Packers. I was I was hearing that Zach Wilson, and now I know everyone becomes a draft expert 
as we get close to the draft. But I was hearing that Zach Wilson, a, a lot of times you just see the highlight plays, but is he a consistent enough just regular passer, three-step drop and throw? Can he just kind of be that guy? That could be that could be a concern. Maybe he's just running around all over the place trying to make plays. Here's rookie die cut Zach Ertz for the Eagles. That'll be for Chris. That could be a concern. Is that the kind of quarterback the Jets want? I mean, maybe. Or do you take a safer quarterback? I don't know. Zach Dysert going to the Broncos. That'll be for Corey. <laughs> you think, Spiro, maybe the Jets pick him up so they can get the uh, that lucrative Jet Blue sponsorship? It's Cordell Patterson. Camo refractor. I mean, maybe, maybe get some free plane rides. Yeah, maybe that's why the Jets take him. JetBlue, the official airline of the Jets. Wow. Do they change their colors? Whoa. We could be we could be in line for an unprecedented deal. Zach Wilson. QB for BYU, whose uncle apparently owns JetBlue, right? Joins the Jets, and the Jets, for a season, change their colors to blue. Wow. And that's a part of a, a sponsorship deal with JetBlue. Maybe Zach Wilson shaves a little bit off that contract. Players even wouldn't like that. All right, and we've got our autograph. That's Gavin Escobar, rookie. That's kind of weird. The auto was the last card of the, the last card, last pack. Gavin Escobar going to the boys. That's it. That'll be for, for Jake and the Cowboys. Number to six hundred, by the way, one seventy-eight out of six hundred. All right, next box. Maybe we'll get we'll jump to 2020 and get these uh, fat packs going here. Oh, that's true. The Giants are that are a pretty similar shade of blue. I guess they won't. They wouldn't do that. See well. What about Justin Fields? A lot, lot of uh, a lot of people seem to say when has Ohio State actually produced produced a, a an NFL quarterback? A lot of great college quarterbacks. But what about what about an NFL? Are they an NFL? Is he an NFL quarterback? Fields dominated his first season at Ohio State. He continued his strong play into the short in 2020 season. Aside from some soppy performances against Indiana Northwestern. He seemed injured in those games, but after a long layoff, he dominated Clemson in the playoff semifinal, drawing comparisons to Deshaun Watson in a good way. Does Ohio State try to claim Joe Burrow? I don't know if that really counts. All right, Justin Fields. Dwayne Haskins wasn't a very good Ohio State quarterback. Yet. I mean, it would be hashtag good for the hobby if Justin Fields... Gets drafted that high and then and then does well for a pretty public and popular team like the Niners. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. That's true for me. I guess the Chargers and Rams do have similar colors. There's DJ Dallas, rated rookie. DJ Dallas goes to Seattle. 
flare, nice. Picking up some more prism. We'll get that going in a little bit. We'll get that to the schedule. Probably in like in a, an hour or so. It's Andrew Thomas. There's Mahomes. Oh, don't say that, McSub. McSub is saying, we're, are we due for another 2013 QB draft class where they all get hyped up and then, and then not so well after that? There's T. Higgins, rated rookie. Yeah, it's tough with these, high, these highly drafted. Ooh, nice Aaron Jones downtown. And Tom Brady. Tom Brady for the Buccaneers, that's for Kenny G. And then on the other side of that trade, Aaron Jones, the downtown insert, going to Martin. Travis Etienne, first round? It's possible. I mean, almost any team could use an exciting playmaker like Travis Etienne. Jonathan Taylor, rated rookie hollow. That'll be for Cameron and the Colts. Where does where does Walter Football have have mocked? Travis Etienne mocked. I don't know. Maybe not even in the first round. Maybe maybe he's a. Maybe he's an early second round guy. Yeah, he has uh, he has Travis Etienne going to the Dolphins with the 36th pick overall. So that could be very interesting. There's Cam Akers. Uh, I have not seen an NT checklist yet, it's, but I haven't looked. <laughs> have you checked CardboardConnection.com, the Panini website? Jalen Johnson, Jacob Eason. All right, Spunk Gilmore. All right, let's move on. I guess let's do this mega box right here. So this is a Prism Football Mega Box Edition. Yeah, that NT Football drops next Wednesday, folks. Pretty exciting. It'll be a very busy day for sure. Thompson, Chase Young. We 
got the green pulsar, Laurent Duvernay Tardif. There you go. Chiefs, that'll be for Brian Heyman. Another green pulsar, Jeff Gladney, that's a catch. Vikings for Jaden Burns. And the autograph is Dwight Freeney. Remember Dwight Freeney? Colts. Sensational signature going to Blue Horseshoes. Cameron Sadler with the Blue Horseshoes. And C.J. Henderson here. All right, how about some, let's do some optic hybrid. You see the H right there, hybrid edition. The Red Mojo parallels are exclusive to the hybrid. Look at these guys hitting 460 plus home runs. Uh, Stan's 171 home run, foot home run. Crazy. Yerman Mercedes, 485? Ooh. Wow. All right, there's some red mojo, Nate Stanley. A nice downtown Tom Brady. That's for Kenny G and the Buccaneers. And if you've never been to Tampa Bay, this is what downtown looks like. There's the big pirate ship in the middle, some swashbucklers right here. Nice. Wow, and a hollow Justin Herbert? Woo! There's Van Jefferson for the Rams as well, Matthew Shira. And a rated rookie hollow Justin Herbert. Brian Frank got randomized the Chargers. He won that spot too. There you go, Kenny. That's awesome. It's almost like <laughs> in reference to the charge, yeah, charges are expensive in NT. No, I don't think so. I think the I think the McDavid year, the the Oilers were were over that. I think, if I remember correctly. There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. to one time, and a Joe Burrow, too. Anthony McFarlane, Red Mojo. I mean, the uh, Chargers are up there as the, as the most, as the most, one of the most expensive teams just solo. But I think there's been some, some previous basketball products. That Joe Burrow, by the way, goes to the Bengals, Jason Siebert. Um, I'm pretty sure the Oilers out of cup hockey was over five. They might have been six or seven thousand. I remember a, there was a basketball. I think there was maybe the Carl Anthony Towns year, flawless. The t the Timberwolves were up there too, maybe over five for flawless basketball Timberwolves. But yeah, that Chargers price has to be in the top five. Justin Herbert. Hmm, right. Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic, Dallas Mavericks were probably, I don't know what we, 
That must have been a five thousand dollar team, six thousand dollar team around there. Mosaic. Another nice one here. Good luck, Mosaic. Let's see what we got here. So far, so good on this break. We got Jalen Ragor, Debo Samuel. Nice NFL debut silver for the Eagles, Chris, for the Fly Eagles Fly. Mike Allstott, Calvin Ridley, Christian McCaffrey. And we got C.D. Lamb, nice. Rookie auto for the Cowboys, Jake, with the boys. That's pretty nice. Silver Miles Sanders, now we've got a red Jalen Ragor NFL debut. NFL debut, Justin Herbert, a Justin Jefferson, and then a base Justin Herbert right there. Nice. Chargers. Brian Frank. All of these Justin Herberts, they all add up. Nice. That Justin Jefferson goes to the Vikings. That'll be for Jaden. Jason Witten, Josh Allen to 49. It's Clyde Edwards Elaire. Yes, we know, Brad. We, we know. I think Blair bought out the rest of the spots. We'll get that on the schedule. Anthony McFarland, silver and red. And Gabriel Davis is your second autograph for the Bills. Matthew Shira with the Bills. Buffalo! There's a Tua Tungavailoa. Two of them. Two Tuas. One is an NFL debut. This is for Jonathan and the Dolphins. And another one's just a regular base one for the lefty. There you go. Nice. We got Stafford, Bettis. Introductions, Justin Herbert. Now it's a nice mosaic box. I don't think these inserts go for as much, but still Justin Herbert. All right. There it is, 2016 Donner Signature Series. 
Mm. It's a pretty underrated product. Sometimes there could be some real big surprises there. Here, ah, point. We'll randomize this to one person in the break. Alex Collins, jersey and autograph for the Seahawks. That'll be for Robert. Now remember, due to the, uh, the global top loader shortage, we're having to use much larger top loaders from these, but we'll be putting blue painter's tape on there. So, in I'm just in case you want to take that tape off or whatever. Just be careful, it'll be loose. Ooh, see? I told you there'll be surprise in here. Jerry Rice autograph one of one. Ooh. See, these, these signature series boxes really underrated. Nice. That's Dayton Rogers, got randomized the Niners in this. Gets the one of one Jerry Rice. And out of fives and under, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. And Dayton got that spot straight up, too. Here's one for the Jets, too Lorenzo Maldini. Yeah, that's right. Mixed up saying that, hey, and usually in this 2016 Six Series, if you find points in the box, there's usually a monster in there, too. So maybe that well, yeah, the points was a good sign at the end. All right, 2020 Obsidian to close out this seven box quick hit football mixer. A lot of nice parallels that we pulled here. So hopefully we'll finish strong. Good luck everybody. Thanks for getting in. Keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more mixers. All right, there's Teddy Bridgewater, Joe Montana. Teddy Bridgewater, 75, Joe Montana to 100. And behind Devin Duvernay is a Justin Jefferson volcanic relic. That'll be for Jaden and the Vikings. And that is... 100, 93 out of 100. There's a redemption here and an autograph below the redemption. And that is lightning strike autograph. Phil Sims, 48 out of 100 for Big Blue. Who's got the G-Men? That'll be Kyle. Kyle Cook with the Giants last spot mojo. Gets old Phil Sims. Back here is Michael Pittman Jr., 20 out of 99, dual relic and autograph. Colts, that's going to go to Cameron and the Colts. 20 out of 99. There's Devin Duvernay, not numbered. All card chip in this break, though. And the Redemption, there were no guesses. Redemption is going to be... T. Higgins, rookie auto for the Bengals. That's going to go to Jason. All right, there you go. Sign your cards, T. You don't want to be a redemption. There you go. And now let's give away the points. Nice, thanks for getting into this break, ladies and gentlemen. It was pretty fun. Okay, so everyone has a chance at the points. Could be a little consolation prize. Robert down to Gabriel and everyone in between. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. One out of five, six times. Name on top gets the points after six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we got Chris. After six times, you'll get 250 points going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching the seven-box quick-hit football mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.